Welcome to all our ornamental fisheries viewers. Thanks for joining us for this another video. Now today we'll be dealing with our waste removal drain pipe. So today I'll be showing you how to plumb and fit your waste removal drain pipe. Want to know more? Stay tuned. Welcome back to all our viewers, subscribers on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now today we'll be showing you how to plumb and to fit your waste water removal pipe. Now this piping system are found to be consistent in the removal of waste from my vat. Now I've already punched the hole to accommodate a inch and a half male adapter for the male adapter to go through that inch and a half hole so i'll be using inch and a half pipe fittings now i used a piece of recycled rubber to make a washer that i'll be using on the outer side of the male adapter now the male and the female adapter will be used through the hole. We'll be also needing a couple of other parts. We'll be using two inch and a half T's. We'll be using one elbow and one female adapter, one male adapter. And also we'll be using three pieces of inch and a half pipe. Now these pipe measure between 16 and 20 inches so i'll be going ahead and i'll be cutting my pipes accordingly to suit and to complete the drain waste removal setup now this piece i cut it at 16 inches all right so the first thing that we are going to do we are going to add our inch and a half male and female adapter so we are going to screw that in to start our setup now this is where all the waste will be removed via gravity fed and this is what will happen as the water swirls so the waste will be taken up and moved to your filter system i'll be just using these wrenches just to get it a little tighter but i will not over tighten because it's plastic against plastic so as long as it's tight enough we won't be having any leakages just to remind you also that some of these and all these pipe fittings can be found at your local hardware store the inch and a half t's the inch and a half elbow and inch and a half male and female adapter now this if you would like to use a larger or a smaller size it's optional and that's up to you depending on the type of fishes that you'll be rearing so inch and a half are found to be is and performs at its best suited for my conditions all right so i'll just tighten the male and female adapter and ensure that it's secure next we are going to be using some shred tape to wrap around that piece of pipe now we have fitted a piece of inch and a half pipe into 
the female side of the adopter that is about two and a half inches long so therefore we will start our assembly at that point so i'm just going to get my thread tape to just come back and just to add some thread tape around that area thus whenever i place the fittings on it it will fit securely now most of these pipe fittings they will fit securely because the water is going to be gravity fed it will not be pressured in any way but if you want your pipes to be extra sturdy and fitted properly you can use some tread tape before fitting on your elbows or your tees that will allow your pipe to fit a little closer and tighter now one of the other reasons why i always use the tread tape is that if i need to make any adjustments to my piping system i can easily pull them apart so first we are going to be using our T, but this is the bottom section of where the waste will go through. Now, this is about two inches, a piece of two inches, inch and a half pipe, which I used and I cut um, around the edge. And this is how I did it. Because the pipe is thin, I used a sharp knife but if you are fearful of the knife and you want to go ahead and use your oxa blade and cut it then that's fine all right or your pipe cutter any which or any one of the tools that you work better with now I'll just cut out these triangular shape right around the edge of the pipe now this is where the waste will go through and be gravity fed out to your filter system now one of the reasons I cut these triangular shapes at the edge of the pipe is that it will prevent the fish from going through and ending up into your filter or your sum area so therefore it will assist in you retaining most of your fishes in that area so i'm going to be cutting these triangular shapes right around the edge of the pipe So that is the complete area of the bottom area of the drain pipe. Now I'll be fitting up the entire area now. So therefore I'll put this piece of 16 inches into a T and I'll place an elbow at the bottom. Now the T at the top will ensure that there is enough air is pulled down into the pipe thus pulls the water a little quicker out which allows it to be gravity fed much quicker so therefore we'll be fitting that area on to our female adapter that goes through and out and we are just ensuring that it is tightly fitted now we'll be adding a piece of 
18 inches pipe coming out to the middle of the vat because when the water swirls it will swirl and pull the waste to the middle so therefore we turn down that jagged edge that we cut and placed into the T and then we'll put a piece of 20 inches pipe into the top of that T. Now why we place the pipe that is in the middle as the water swirls as the water swirls and the waste gather to the middle and is pulled up into that pipe it goes across it comes up and then it goes right out to your filter system now that T which is right over to the side of the vat the reason why it's low is that it also acts as an overflow so if there is any blockage at the base of the piping then as the water comes up it will act as an overflow so the water will flow over into that pipe area so the middle section is a little higher which forces the water to drain out in that area so you won't have any problems if the bottom section of your drain is blocked so therefore this is your setup which is quite simple and easy i'll be showing you the setup for the water that comes in and how you're to set up that pipe which allows the water to swirl thanks much for joining us for this another ornamental fish whiz video please remember to like comment share and subscribe we do appreciate all our subscribers subscribers